Hey guys, something a little bit different here. We're going to be watching the NBL. Leave a comment below if you would like to see more or less NBL videos on the channel. In the first clip, we can see Mitch Norton tries to take the charge against Hogue and he's unsuccessful. The umpire calls a blocking foul. Luckily, they challenge this with the coach's challenge and the call is overturned. Here you see Hogue, the roll man, and Norton. How's the passion? Up 28. <laughs> The coach's challenge is successful. The call will be overturned to an offensive foul on Orange 1. It's all coming up Perth. On the very next play, we can see Bryce Cotton bumps into McCall and the umpire's original call is a block. Cairns challenge this call and they are unsuccessful. I think this is the right call as you have to allow some space for the defender to square up, not in fighting terms, but square up to have their body facing the defender before you can call. So this is the correct call for me. Was saying, don't, don't do it, coach. The coach's challenge is unsuccessful. The foul will stand on Orange 22. And again, it comes up Perth. Wardenberg misses the open layup, and then Keanu Pinder comes in for the amazing putback to be on the top 10 highlight reel. And this happens. We know he can throw it down, and he loses it out of play. Oh, that's not what you want. Yeah, it's about to be a sports center highlight. Not sure what the Cairns Thai fans could have done here to stop Bryce, but great offense beats great defense. 29-34. Been all Perth in this second period. Cotton high off the window. And he gets the call. The finish, the movement off the ball. Not sure where the foul is. It's like a vertical contest there from right, to Jim McCall. Both McCall and Pinder get some very unlucky bounces here. Usually these go in, but sometimes it's just not your night. With 10 seconds left till half time, Wardenberg gets one of the luckiest bounces you can ever get as a basketball player. The defense gets caught out here and Manic is able to score an easy dunk and then down the other end, McCall just throws it away. Yes, that would make the coach incredibly mad. That is a wide open Brady Manek under the hoop. That's not going to do Adam Ford's blood pressure much good. Neither is that. Mitch Norton is left wide open and he just completely airballs this one. Misses it by a long way. Mitch Norton gets called for a three second violation in the key while sitting down holding the ball. You don't see that every day. In that second period alone, Wildcats on offense to start. Norton is desperately diving after it. He's going to sack in the key. Not only was Bryce Cotton unstoppable here, Keanu Pinder does the unthinkable and he fouls the three point shooter. It's called a coach killer for a reason. Good luck stopping that. Drag screen from Manic, and he gets the switch and then just puts the dance moves on Keanu Pin. Hard being on an island up there and switched out as a big man, but right there you got to stay on his hip, force him into the paint. Don't... Quoll has the ball and it probably should have been a little floater. He tries to do the team thing and set it up for an alley dunk, but he just throws it above his head as if his teammate is eight foot tall. He's just making great reads too. Travers passes the ball to Manic at his feet and the ball goes out of bounds. And two plays later, Norton gets him back. Come up with the pass. And another sloppy turnover from Perth. Well, that was a little bit different video than my usual AFL ones. Please leave a comment below if you'd like to see more NBL videos or if you don't want them on the channel. I guess I'll do a poll or something and see what the majority think. If you don't like these videos, then I guess you could leave a thumbs down or let me know in the comments. I appreciate it either way. Thanks guys. See you in the next video.